Let's see the SQL and NoSQL details and which one to use for designing a system. Uh, like in case of SQL, we already know that that it has the fixed schema and the rows and columns. Like consider this example. This is one table or you can say the relational database. So where we have the table batch and these are my different columns that is batch ID, batch name, batch date and course ID. And these are my different values. So it's a RDBMS that is relational databases. These are my different attributes and these are my different rows where we have the values. And then in case of RDBMS, we have the primary key, which is nothing but the batch ID. And then we have the foreign key, which is actually linked with the other table. So the course ID is the foreign key where we have the course ID as X1 and X2. And these are my different table. So basically these two tables are related or they have the relation. That's why we call it relational databases because here in this case we can use the join and join the multiple tables and create a relation between the different tables. So in this case here we have another table that is course where we have details of all the individual course like in this case the course ID is x1 and x2 and what is this x1 x2. So x1 is DSA course and its piece is this much and x2 is system design course and the, its piece is this much. So this is the RDBMS where we have this kind of things like attributes, rows, primary key, foreign key. Then we have the join where we can able to perform the relations between the multiple tables. And there is very important topic of SQL or you can say the RDBMS where all the relational database tables follow the ACID properties. Let's see what is this NoSQL. So basically the NoSQL having the four types mainly that is the document store, then we have the key value store, then we have the column store and the fourth one is graph store. So these are the generally four types of NoSQLs. Uh, like in case of the document store, so MongoDB uses the document store NoSQL approach. Similarly, let's say Redis or you can say DynamoDB uses the key value store. Then Cassandra uses the column store and similarly Neo4j or Infinite Graph will use the graph store approach of NoSQLs. So let's see what are the benefits of using the NoSQL over SQLs. This is my relational database where we have the batch table and all these details in the form of rows and columns and then it's communicating from the other table that is the course table and they have the relations. So basically we are using join between these two tables. So that is a relational database. Now in case of NoSQL database we consider the document store in this case. So in the document store we store all the informations in this particular format. So previously we have used rows and columns and now we are storing the data in this particular way. So this document oriented database or uh, you can say the NoSQL document store is the modern way to store the data in the form of JSON rather than simple rows and columns. So every value in the JSON is stored in the form of key value pair. So you can see there is a batch ID then this is my batch ID then batch name and this is my batch name. So it's a key value pair I'm storing the data in case of document store NoSQL. And we also call this complete pair as the attribute in case of document store. So that's how we are storing the NoSQL information into the DB. But in case of relational database, we store the informations like this. So the keys are simple string in this case. All these keys are the simple strings and the value could be any type. It can be int or it can be double, it can be boolean, etc. So like you can see here, we have batch ID. So here also we have the batch ID. Then we have the batch name. Here also we have the batch name. And similarly, if you see here, we have the course ID. And this is my course ID details. And we are now communicating from the different table to get the detail of the course ID. But in case of the NoSQL DB, here all the informations are present in the same document. So in the course ID, you can see here we have X1. That is this X1. And all the informations are stored here only like course name, course fee and everything. So that's how we represent the NoSQL DB and this is how we represent the relational DB. Now let's see some of the advantage of using this NoSQL DB. 
So one of the obvious advantages like insert, delete or let's say the select queries is much more easier in case of NoSQL than the relational DB. How? So if you see here, if you want to insert one particular row in the batch, so we need to give all these informations. And in this course ID, which is actually referring to other table, again, we need to give all these informations. So basically in case of SQL, we need to write a very complex query and store all these informations. So in NoSQL, all the information we store as a single document. Admin simply enter these details about the batch and we store it into the DB. But in case of relational DB, multiple tables are connected through the joins. So if you need to insert the batch details, then you need to write a very complex query. So that's one of the advantage of using the NoSQL, it's much more easier. Similarly, if let's say if you want to insert all the informations created with the batch, it means all these details along with the course details. Then again, you need to write select star from batch and it will give all your informations. But internally from the course ID, again, the system need to go to the course in ID information for the course table and then get all these details. So it's a lot of complex things are there. Even if you have the billions of records, then you need to communicate the millions of tables to get all the details. But in case of NoSQL, all the informations are stored in the same document. So it will simply fetch all the details. So that's the advantage of using the NoSQL. Now, another advantage is adding the new attribute is easy in case of NoSQL. How? So consider this is my table that is a relational DB. And here we add a new column or you can say a new attribute that is batch topper. And this is my details of the batch topper. Now we know that in case of the relational DB, we always need to maintain the asset property. That is your table should always be automaticity and it should always be consistent. It means all the transactions should happen at once or not at all. And all the databases that it's communicating should be consistent before and after the transactions. So it's always maintain the consistency in case of relational DB. Now adding a new attribute, it's a tough task in case of the relational DB because again, you need to take all the information from this table, means you have to do the migrations, take all the details and correspondingly one by one insert the information for the new attribute as well. On the other hand, in case of NoSQL, all this tedious work is not required. So basically NoSQL don't even care even if you add a new attribute suddenly into the document. So basically you can add any attribute, you can delete any attribute anytime. So I simply add the batch topper and here we give the informations like in this case as a Tony and start inserting into the NoSQL DB. So adding a new attribute, deleting a new attribute is much more easier in case of NoSQL DB. Now let's see what are the disadvantages of using the NoSQL. So these are the advantages. Let's see the disadvantages. So one of the obvious disadvantage of NoSQL is it does not follow the asset property. So what that mean? It means in case of the relational database, it always maintain the asset property that is automaticity, consistency, isolations and durability. In short, entire transaction should happen at once or not at all happens. That's what the policy of asset and all the databases should always be consistent before and after the transactions if you are following the asset property and relational database always follow this asset property but in case of NoSQL it does not follow it so basically the NoSQL always be more focus on the availability than the consistency so it means in case of the NoSQL database they always focus on more like data should always be available to the user it does not really care that the data is consistent across the different server. Like in case of the NoSQL DB, mostly we use the horizontal partitioning. So in case of horizontal partitioning, you are using the multiple servers. And the NoSQL does not really care whether the data is consistent across the different servers in the horizontal partitioning. But it always focus that data should always be available to the user. So that is the one of the disadvantage of using the NoSQL database. So most of the critical transactions business does not allow the NoSQL DB like in case of the banking sector or the e-commerce sector or let's say the stock market software 
where the transaction is very important. They want the transaction should be complete or it should not be started at all. So they want all the things should happen at once and they want asset property should always be maintained because the money is involved in all this sector is very critical. So that's why in all such sectors, we don't really use the NoSQL DB. So this is one of the disadvantage of NoSQL DB. Another disadvantage is read operation is complex in case of NoSQL. So what that mean? It means, let's say this is my table in case of relational DB. Now in this table, if you want, let's say the batch date of all the batches that we have, let's say thousand of batches are there. Now you write a simple query and the query will directly go to this batch date and get all the details of it. It's pretty straightforward. But in case of the NoSQL DB, let's say if you want the batch date of all the batches, then the NoSQL will fetch every document entry. And after fetching it, it filter it out the batch date and then give you the result. So it takes a lot of time in case of the NoSQL DB. But in case of relational error, it will directly go to that column and give you all the details. So in this particular complex read operations, mostly the relational database performs better than the NoSQL DB.